I'm your host for the evening. Uh, they were going to ask Chris Christie to do this tonight, but he couldn't be here. He's stuck in the tunnel. Not in the car, just in the tunnel. A lot of people think I look like Chris Christie, you know? You know, all fat guys look alike, right? Is that it? The other day I saw a fat black guy standing next to a fat Chinese guy, and I couldn't tell the difference. Now, Chris Christie's dealing with his weight problem, you know, by having that lap band surgery. I don't need that. I deal with my weight the old-fashioned way. I buy bigger pants. <laughs> now, let me tell you what my role is here tonight. I'm to this show like a dozen brand muffins are to a guy with constipation. We're going to keep things moving. Uh, tonight's show is being broadcast live, meaning they can't cut out anything I say, no matter how stupid or idiotic it may sound. Now you know how the producers of the Oscars felt during Matthew McConaughey's speech. <laughs> Did you hear that fucking speech? I mean, what is he talking about, you know? It's like he spent more time in space than Sandra Bullock, you know? <laughs> so, so this show is live like the Oscars. The only difference is that here, the audience is filled with nice, regular people instead of pompous douchebags. <laughs> Fucking right, clap at that. Anybody else? Now, did anybody see on the Oscars when Ellen took that selfie? It's a good thing I wasn't in that picture. There wouldn't have been any room for anyone else. <laughs> so let me tell you a little about myself. You might recognize me from that famous TV series about a bunch of guys who behave like Neanderthals. I'm originally from Brooklyn, you know, not the part of Brooklyn, not the part of Brooklyn that Jay-Z and all his cool friends hang out in, you know. I'm from the part of Brooklyn where if people in the neighborhood see a guy who even slightly resembles Jay-Z, they lock their doors and dial 911. <laughs> Benson hurts, baby. But this winter really sucked, right? Didn't it suck out here? I mean, it's too much freaking snow. Schools were closed so often that the teachers were forced to have phone sex with their students. Oh, don't groan at me, goddammit. Now, this winter, the winter's been bad all over the U.S., right? The Great Lakes were frozen. Niagara Falls was frozen. I heard that in Minnesota. There was a pregnant woman who was outside in zero-degree weather when her water broke. The kids skated out. That's a goddamn silly joke. <laughs> now, you know in Pennsylvania, they get six more weeks of winter if that groundhog punks a tawny Phil sees a shadow. In New York, we get six more weeks of winter if that thing on Donald Trump's head sees a shadow. <laughs> Come on, Trump, who you fooling? You're here. Donald Trump's hair is as real as my chances of looking good in a Speedo. <laughs> 